What's up, people? I'm here to talk about The Illusionist once again. Uh, I saw it the other day for the second time, and it's amazing. I, uh, I, I really don't want to spend a lot of time talking about it because it's just so beautiful, and I think uh, you really should go out of your way to see it. Um, as it makes the rounds, if it does make the rounds. Um, it's, it's an animated film. It's a French film. Uh, it's written, um, I guess they're saying adapted, adapted and directed, animated, uh, scored, uh, edited. Um, I think that's about it by Sylvain Chaumet. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's amazing. I'm not familiar with all of his works. I know he did The Triplets of Belleville and now The Illusionist. Um, two amazing films. Um, I think the, the true uh, hero of the story uh, of the film is... Uh, the, it's based off a, as I understand, an unpublished or, or lost manuscript by a French master, an icon, uh, Jacques Tati, um, and this was, this was an unfinished work or, or something that was found after his, his death. Again, I'm not 100% on that. Uh, again, I'm not too big into research, just kind of word of mouth. Uh, and it's a, I, I kind of want to read the story. I hope it's available out there somewhere, um, but it's, it's just devastating. Um, and it's beautiful and it's true. Uh, it's about a magician uh, past the prime of his life and career. He's seeing everything pretty much slip away. Uh, and it's uh, he, he comes across a, a young girl uh, who looks up to him, idolizes him, and, and travels with him, becomes his uh, little buddy. And we see him at the end, we see her at the beginning uh, of, of their journeys, of their journeys. Um, I, uh, I, if I haven't said it, it's, I'm giving this a 10. I think it's one of the best movies I've seen this year. Uh, this is basically why I wait so long to do a top 10 list of the year uh, that I don't jump on it come January 1. It's because I don't get to see everything that came out last year until, you know, it comes out or I get the money to or, or what have you. Uh, this, I mean, it's an amazing film. Um, it, it's one of the best movies I saw last year. It's a 10. I think that would make it the fourth uh, 10 I gave out in 2010. Um... It, uh, it's, again, it's animation, it's, uh, it's animated, and really there is so much in every single frame of the film that it's just mesmerizing. Uh, the first time I saw the film I sat uh, relatively close to the screen, uh, and then this, as I saw it the second time, I had to sit in the back or near the back because the first time I was like just darting all around the screen just trying to take in everything so I knew that I wanted to sit back and have a more wide angle view uh, of the goings on and there's just and there is so much going on in every single frame just literally something happening in every corner uh, every character is doing something unique um, the, one of the powerful things of the story is uh, just like little little moments and it's just like life uh, it's just like life it's just there's these little tiny stolen moments that reveal so much uh, about the characters and as we all know it's all about the little things uh, and there's so many little things that really just make this beautiful um, uh, the character designs are, are, are spectacular. Uh, 
there's there's no way you could confuse it with any other animation uh, on the planet. Uh, this is this is definitely Sullivan Chomet. Um, I, I want to make sure I get everything I want to say about the film out before I say one more thing. The last thing I want to say. Uh, it's mostly silent. As if they speak anything, it's like in the universal language of gibberish. Uh, I did notice some English, I did notice some French, but it's like basic, you know, like so basic that I imagine anyone in the world would, uh, would know what they were saying. Uh, just basic French, basic English. I want to say maybe I heard some uh, German in there a little bit, and uh, Celtic? I'm not sure what they speak in, in Ireland. I mean, I know they speak English, but uh, broke, broke, uh, Irish broke. Anyway, I'm not entirely familiar, but, uh, or maybe it was Scotland. You know, they're, it's, it's, they're in Europe, you know, so uh, you get the, the European flavors. Now I'm thinking they went to Scotland and not Ireland, but anyway. Uh, so I think you, you can connect on with the film on, you know, for ageless, uh, for any part of the world you live in. Uh, I, I think it's a uh, global hit um, and needs no translation and it will speak uh, to anyone, really. It's really heartbreaking. Uh, it's, it's really... It's really sad. Um, I think in my first review I mentioned this, but I, I do want to buy this uh, because I, I don't see any reason why a person should not own this film uh, and readily reference it at their will. Uh, but it's something that... Well, actually, I may want to watch it because it would, might keep me centered, you know? Um, because it's, it's very heavy. Uh, and again, life is very heavy. It, I can't explain to you how true to life this is. Uh, and yet, it's an, you know, it's a cartoon. So, I think it speaks to the power of film and delivering truth. I think it uh, speaks in the power of animation, uh, by being able to, uh, distill the the human condition down into drawings and movement and color. Uh, it really is spectacular and I, I may be getting a little bit rambling so I guess I'll just wrap it up with my final point. Um, one, it's a 10. You know, I'm giving it a 10. And uh, as I said, I sat towards the back of the theater this time instead of the front of the theater. Um, and it was a small theater, and I'd say that there were about 12 to 15 people in the theater. And I don't think anyone sat behind me. In fact, I'm pretty certain of it. No one sat behind me. Uh, when the film was over, and the credits started to roll, not one person, not one person got up until the credits were over. The studio logos came up, the rating came up, screen went to white. Then people got up. Not one person budged. And I think that perfectly captures the power of the film. Uh, that it will floor you. If you let it take you away, if you get wrapped up in it, it might always be with you. Um, I know I can't stop thinking about it. Uh, mostly because <laughs> I need to, you know, realize that life is, is not a fairy tale. Um, because <laughs> as a person who believes in magic and hopes and dreams, well, this is a severe kick to the balls, you know. Uh, I don't really know what else to say, uh, but 
again, I, I hope that image, because that, that really just stuck with me, because usually I'm the guy who just sits there till the end of the credits. Because I usually do, I tend to stay till the end of the credits, um, unless I'm running late to another movie. Uh, but I will sit there and watch credits. But again, nobody got up. Nobody got up. And I, I can't think of anything more perfect uh, to say about the film. I think that encapsulates uh, the essence of the experience. So that's The Illusionist. Uh, it's a 10. It's one of the best films I saw last year. Uh, it's an amazing and heartbreaking work of art. Thank you.